Well, I guess for anybody, there's probably personal reasons and professional reasons. Personally, I have family here and, and a cottage, and I love the prairie, so it's, it's a nice place to be. But uh, also professionally, I love the community here. I love the support we get from Manitoba Film and Music, from On Screen Manitoba, from Film Training. I love the crews that work here who are world class and deliver fantastic uh, material for us. The writers, the directors, the actors. And uh, even the producers here are, are great collaborators for us. We're competitors, but we always find a way to work together and, and support uh, the industry here. Well, I think the best thing about living in Manitoba for me is the neighborhood that I live in in Winnipeg. I have a young family, and uh, I live in a neighborhood called Wildwood Park, and it's uh, really unique in the country, and I think it's the best place. Uh, in Canada to raise a family. Hmm, there's been a lot of a lot of moments. It's been an action-packed uh, decade uh, here. I guess when I look back I would certainly count uh, watching our first big visual effects scene uh, sort in the movie Swordfish with Warner Brothers at theater here being an incredible moment. Um, doing Pioneer Quest, the first show that I created and produced uh, was quite a year and uh, Boy, so many. I guess the other one that comes to mind just because it's quite recent is uh, we produced a one-hour doc for CBC about the return of the Winnipeg Jets and uh, being at MTS Center on uh, the opening game, at the opening game, was um, a very memorable moment and uh, a great one for Manitoba.